My name is Francine, I'm 32 years old and last year I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. I was affected in several ways. Um, as a young woman, um, I, I had to remove my ovaries and uterus and everything else so I can't have kids anymore. I'm on menopause, at, uh, I was menopause at 31 years old. I felt hopeless, I felt like why was that happening to me? Cancer Council is an organisation that is impatient for change. We want to be bringing hope to people today. The Venture Grants program provides an opportunity to fast track the very best in cancer treatments. I think we're at a very exciting time in, in, in cancer research. Um, this is really being driven by the kind of cancer research which our group's doing and other groups are doing in the area. Whether you have personally experienced chemotherapy or have been a support pillar for someone that has had to go through chemotherapy, you'll understand that it's a very harsh treatment, it's very hard on your body, and there's a lot of different side effects. Uh, what we're trying to achieve is to one, understand triple negative breast cancer, and to create these targeted therapies. There's no doubt that cancer research has helped us to deliver some of the most uh, progressive cancer outcomes in the world. Australia's cancer researchers are amongst the best and the treatment outcomes that we've achieved have been remarkable. I've always been a strong proponent of the fact that all cures are driven by fundamental scientific discoveries. There isn't a single agent that we use today to try and achieve a cure in a cancer patient that has not been developed by you know, the hard work of many research scientists. Research is very important to try to uh, give women like me uh, more hope that we can live longer and live healthy. So there is clear evidence over the past 40 years in cancer research that basic research is absolutely essential for um, therapies developed for cancer patients and therefore I believe it is um, basically not feasible to have new um, therapies without having the basic research which we are doing in this Venture Grants program. The reason that we wanted to try and do this is because this will make a huge difference for the day-to-day -day lives of the, of the patients that are suffering from cancer. We might be able to treat them more effectively with less of the toxic chemotherapeutic drugs um, and therefore they'll have fewer side effects and hopefully have a much longer period of remission afterwards. The end game here is to really eventually make a difference for patients with multiple myeloma um, and to make some important discoveries. I mean, you know, these are high risk, high payoff projects by definition. We're involved in the early stages when the program was being designed. Uh, we got to meet the researchers along the way. We got to see how the selection process worked. So there's a real, um, there's a feeling of inclusiveness in what is going on. Cancer treatments in 20 years will be completely transformed. We will have a range of individualised treatment programs that are available for cancer patients, which offer greater hope for cancer patients because they'll be better matched to their particular type of cancer. It's incredibly important to have investment in cancer research. It's an incredibly complex uh, biology that drives cancer and causes cancer. Uh, and the more research we can do to understand how cancer develops, progresses and one generates resistance to normal treatments, the more chance we have of actually finding a cure. Is it high risk? Absolutely. Is it high reward? Absolutely. Just think of what success will look like with the investment that people make in this program. As a cancer patient, that's so important to have hope. And if you know that someone is doing research, uh, that, that is hope.